now that I've got all your attention, I want to share something with you. Yesterday, September 15th, 2024, I turned 60 years old. The big 6-0. Why is that a big deal? Well, I'm out here cutting firewood, splitting firewood, and this is a hobby for me. It's kind of an obsession. So, I'm out here doing this. I'm exercising. I don't have all the super high-tech equipment, the, uh, the big firewood processors. I don't have tractors. I don't have any of that stuff. I just work. And in doing this work, I'm getting exercise and I'm maintaining a fat percentage in my body. Why is all this important? So let's get right down to the nitty gritty of it. Over two and a half years ago, December the 10th, oh gosh, I forget what year it was. Two and a half years ago, <laughs> I guess 2022 or something. Yeah, I had a heart attack. I had two, two 100% clogged arteries. The LAD, the Widowmaker, was and still is 100% bone, calcified bone. In God's grace, I grew a couple little arteries around it to keep me going so that when I actually had the heart attack, um, there was still blood pumping. Um, so my heart attack, well, let's put it this way. I shouldn't have lived. It should have killed me, but it didn't by God's grace. So what I want to do is share real quick, what is this all about? And how did it happen? Well, I'm going to share just a couple things with you. One, stress. I had a restaurant. Stress. A lot of stress. Seven days a week, all day, dream about it at night. Stress. And on top of that, I ate horribly. I ate pastries, pies, candy bars. Uh, didn't do a lot of soda because that was a little too sweet for me. But a lot of what they call simple carbohydrates, um, a lot of stuff that's high on the glycemic index. Do your research, do a little research and check out what foods are high on the glycemic index. I see you firewood guys, all you firewood guys, for one thing, you, I used to have a belly. That belly isn't a good thing. That belly means that most likely you have what's called fatty liver disease. Fatty liver disease. You may have never had a, a sip of alcohol in your life and you could still have liver disease from eating poorly. The trans fats, the seed oils, canola oil, um, soybean oil, all that stuff, it causes your liver to shut down. And if your liver shut down and you have inflammation through your body, all through your body, it causes a lot of stress. And, and on top of, I think they call it oxidative stress, but they, it causes all that stress on your body, on, on your arteries, your main arteries around your heart, which is pumping, pumping, pumping. And those arteries, even though they're like big, they, it's a lot of work on them. So, I learned through the past couple years that cholesterol did not give me a heart attack, that cholesterol does not give you a heart attack, and that is, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a doctor, but I believe that's false information. I believe it's false information. So it wasn't cholesterol, it was inflammation, inflammation due to poor eating habits and stress on my system and on my body, a lot of stress which causes your body causes you to be in fight or flight mode all the time. A lot of cortisol, adrenaline being released in your body because you're stressed out. So here's what I wanna share with you. If you are living like I was for 57 years, then take it easy, relax. Don't overwork yourself. If there's stuff causing you a lot of stress just so that you can keep your house, sell it. If there's a lot of stress on you just so you can keep your big pretty truck, sell it. Get something that's more manageable. 
easier. No car payments. Live easy. Live free. Who cares what people think about you? Who cares how you look driving a big expensive truck and, and having all this big expensive stuff? Who cares? None of it's going to matter. None of it's going to matter when your grandchildren are going to your funeral because you work so hard, you stressed yourself out, you drank too much alcohol, you smoked too many cigarettes, and all that stuff just causes so much stress on your body and you ate poorly. The big apple pies and, and all that stuff and the sugar in your coffee, all that stuff, it just all accumulates. I've lost more friends in the past few years um, that, I, that I care to talk about because of heart attacks. People who couldn't make it to our high school reunion, our 40th high school reunion um, a couple years ago because they had heart attacks. I have friends in church who I lost, 50 years old, 50, 52 years old, bang, heart attack. A guy who used to work for me, um, I was best friends with his older brother just less than two months ago. Uh, mid 50s mid 50s just walking through a store dropped I had uncle same thing 50 years old walking through a store dropped it's the stress and it's the poor eating so I would recommend if you'll take this recommendation listen to a couple people um, on YouTube dr. Mark Hyman um, Dr. Sten Ekberg, look these guys up. Uh, Dr. Nadir Ali, um, these guys talk about how to eat healthy. It's not that hard, and you can make the food amazing. A lot of new things on the carnivore diet. Um, I don't do that, but there's a you know um, there's a lot of uh, information out there to help you out. Um, there's a, a show where a guy takes you into a grocery store to, to look through the groceries center aisles and all that stuff who list ingredients pick stuff up and said this I won't buy this I buy this I won't consume this I do consume uh, it's called Flav City F-L-A-V City with um, I want to say the guy's name is Bobby Parrish maybe I can't remember offhand but it's Flav City these things are huge if you can make the change now Start eating the, I mean, my diet consists of healthy fats. I used 100% grass-fed beef, 100% grass-fed beef tallow that I make myself. I smoke it. I cook my eggs, free-range eggs in it every morning. I have a nice big fat avocado. Just all these things, these healthy fats. I eat a couple forkfuls of, of raw sauerkraut every day. It's cold, right out of the right out of the jar. It, it, it tastes like a, a kosher dill. I mean, it's, it's fantastic. Keeps your gut healthy, which is key, having a healthy gut. And all that sugar and all that flour and processed food has destroyed your gut and it causes a whole heap of trouble in your body. So anyway, I'm 60 years old. I'm cutting firewood. Joe, you're my friend, buddy. I hope you watch this video. Please take this advice, your children, your grandchildren, your wife will thank you for it. It is not too late. Pre-diabetes, type 2 diabetes, whatever you're, they told you in the past, they've proven that you can reverse it. Atherosclerosis is what I had, cracking on the inside of your arterial walls, and then they get clogged up with calcium and bad calcified, oxidated, destroyed LDL cholesterol. Tiny, tiny particles get in there, build up, clot breaks off, heart attack. That's, that's the story, man, that's my story. You can reverse atherosclerosis. It has been proven out there. You can reverse atherosclerosis through eating healthy fats salmon a couple times a week nice wild caught Alaskan sockeye salmon I have it a couple times a week there's avocados um, grass-fed beef tallow these kind of things actually reverse and it's gonna take a while but they reverse atherosclerosis um, I'm, I'm again I'm not a doctor but I have been it, it they proved they proved it to me I am maintaining fat percentage in my body 
I'm maintaining weight, I'm cutting firewood, I'm splitting firewood, I'm picking up heavy logs. This is an obsession of mine, it's a hobby, and I do sell the firewood. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Listen, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, please subscribe, there'll be more videos like this. We will talk about firewood, we will talk about barbecue, and we will talk about Jesus. We will on this channel. Please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification so that you get a notification when I put up a video. I don't put up a whole lot, maybe one a week. I won't drive you crazy with them. Please like this video, share it with your friends. And you firewood cutters out there, so many of you have that belly sticking out. I love you and I'm telling you about it. It's time to reverse that while you still have time because once you hit that age of 50, a lot of us, when we hit that age 50, our time clock starts running out on how your body can maintain decent health and things change. I'm just being honest with you. Get rid of that belly, get rid of it. And the best way to get rid of it is through eating healthy, healthy fats, good fats for you. God bless you, have a great day.